hello welcome back again to my youtube channel please if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do well to subscribe and also turn on the notification so that when i have a new video you can get access to it okay so in today's video we're going to look at introduction to bootstrap i had an issue with my previous video so i decided to prepare a new one so this time around i hope the sound is better okay so with the introduction to bootstrap the first thing we need is to use the documentation to be a very good programmer you have to always visit the documentation that is should be your number one reference point so for the documentation for bootstrap you just have to go to bootstrap and the first website you get which is the getsbootstrap.com gives you everything you need to know about bootstrap and i'm going to give you an example of using bootstrap and then not using bootstrap the difference so here you can see that there are several ways to have bootstrap running on your on your page so you could use the npm install bootstrap right so this is for those using the back end for instance those using node.js could use this one and then there is also the cdn right so you can see the package manager and then also the cdn but because you're just using html css and javascript cdn will be our best bet okay so let's get started read the docs right so let's first first start with the docs now you see that bootstrap is a powerful feature packed front-end toolkit um a lot of people um like using bootstrap and it's not surprising because it makes everything very simple for the user. For instance, with Bootstrap, you already have packages like the CSS and then the JavaScript packages prepared. For beginners, I would also advise that before you start with Bootstrap, you could have make sure make sure you have a little knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. At least a little knowledge before you start with Bootstrap. For the Bootstrap, just elevates your understanding of JavaScript and CSS. So let's get started over here. Let's see some websites that use Bootstrap. Um, you can see the GitHub to see the documentation on Bootstrap, right? All the documentation is here. But I have one website here that uses Bootstrap. That is the Fox News. So Fox News in the US, it's a very popular uh, website. So there's a website here, Fox News. And Fox News, surprisingly, even though it's a very big um, organization, they still use Bootstrap in their setup. Let's do some inspection to see the kind of tools they use on this particular website. That is easy. So if you haven't done this before, you could install this extension, which is built with. So you could just go to extensions and then look for. So built with extension you could use a chrome you could you could just browse but with extension right and then when you go here right and then you can just install so my is already installed right so build with technology profiler so for every website it gives you a recap of what has been used there the kind of language they are using and everything so that you become conversant with the environment okay so let's see what is used here now you just click here and then it runs everything oh which animal is this it's a no-brainer let me see which animal is that it's a cat yes 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 it's a cat right so that's a cat then when we run wow just answering this question shows you're human i think a, just the program can just run this and still log in anyways let's see so where is bootstrap here so you can see that this website uses so many um, add-ins and also extensions and also languages and also third-party softwares right there are so many third parties here but our interest is bootstrap and remember bootstrap is also a third party because bootstrap uses the raw javascript and css and then they make it into a package for us to use so enough of the talking let's look for bootstrap so you can see there's even react here there is even jquery and then bootstrap should be 
somewhere. Oh, it's hard to find it. Maybe I should run a search. No, 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 no. Let me let me go back again to finding Bootstrap. A moment, please. So let's check the technology that have been used. Mm. and see if we can find bootstrap unless it has been removed yeah so you can see it's here so bootstrap has been used on this website and also some other apis right okay so learning bootstrap is a very good skill you can always use that on your cv and it boosts your ability to get employed so let's see why would i use bootstrap let me just use this example to explain the point so first let's create a folder so to create a simple folder and i would call it i'll call it get started so get started you can oh my get started get started all right so now let's run so after creating a folder you could just run a cdm right and then open could node.js from here ah sorry you could open uh code right so visual studio code right from the cmd execution so you could you could just open it uh, systematically you could go to you could open your editor which could be sublime or any, any other editor and then go to file and then create a new folder or you go to file and then you navigate to this one right but i'm using visual studio code that is why i'm using a shortcut all right so let's first create um, a file here let's create the file by name index.html let me make this half and half so we can navigate easily through the pages so we have here index.html so this is our html file which has been created for us i know for those who are advanced you like to speed up and go ahead of us it's okay you can just move it to times two that's the sound speed to times two but for beginners it will be good you just stay with me and then understand what i say okay so first we have an index.html right and with our index.html uh let's copy what we have here so this is just a raw html file without the bootstrap so let me copy this and paste it over here and see so without without bootstrap what happens now you see that it says hello world right no bootstrap nothing hello world and then those will be wondering how am i able to show this html on this uh web browser well what i did was to right click and then click open with live server right and some people might not even have live server if you have questions you can ask them in the comments and then others will help you out so to get a live server what you have to do is to look at the extensions and look out for live server so when you type live server right oh my spelling is so bad liver server my goodness so live server so you see the first one that comes out let me show you so you see this is it the first one that's the live server i already have it installed that is why i'm able to run it quickly now let's go away with this okay so you have the live server here and we have our index.html and we can see that we have our text appearing now what if we use bootstrap so let me create another index.html so we can compare the two but this time around let me call it index p because it has bootstrap.html and let's see the difference so let's go back again to bootstrap and then this time around copy the bootstrap with the css so this bootstrap with css right and then save it now when you run this one right you can see the difference it says hello world but 
everything is gone right the style here is zero from the style over there right so there's difference between using the using with, with bootstrap and not using with, with bootstrap if you don't use with bootstrap what you have to do is you have to include your own css and javascript files and then go through the meticulous way of trying to um, style it by yourself right but when you use bootstrap all the styles have been done for you what you have to do is just call the classes and then the classes in this files would just be executed so you have no problem well those who don't understand it's just like um prepared food like fast food bootstrap is like fast food but without bootstrap it's like having to go to the market buying everything yourself okay so let's go to bootstrap now we are not going to use this one we can just use the bootstrap so that is it the main point here let me show you the difference between these two files so this one is mm, okay let me expand this so you can see we have two the one with bootstrap so with bootstrap it's just raw right without bootstrap it's just raw with bootstrap there are two main files here the link right which is the css file and then we have the javascript file which is in the script section right so that's what everything is too so this two make all the difference okay now we don't need this one we just need this one okay let's see okay so these are the two files i did mention about the script which is the javascript and then oh so we have two different types of script if you don't want problems you could just go with the templates and then make edit then edit from the template but some people might not want to have all the remember this is a js right it's a javascript file so this javascript file can be broken down into two so this is a complete package but if you don't want to use the complete package just want to use one you could just use one of this and then leave the other one but i would recommend that you just use everything because you don't know what when you need a particular feature okay so these are the links so you could just copy this and then include them in your in your html uh, in your html each time you want to run bootstrap or you could just copy you could always come here and then just copy the template right anyways so that's for the component so we have the javascript component which i've spoken about the html doc which i've given you an example and box sizing so yeah that is that is the beginning of bootstrap we have here and from here we're going to build on this and to create other websites and create more nice looking uh, sites um, i will end my video here in the next video what we're going to look at we're going to look at the second part of it so we, today we started with the introduction now i would move to the layout for this you might not need all this because this is just theory but i would make the documentation very easy for you to understand so we go with the breakout how to break out how to use breakouts in bootstrap thank you so much for listening to me if you have any questions regarding bootstrap and if you're able to follow along please let me know and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do what to subscribe i'll bring you more interesting videos Thank you so much for your time. See you.